One of the common questions we get asked is, what is power over ethernet? So power over ethernet is very simple. Um, this is what is called a power over ethernet injector. What does it have? You can see it's got a mains input there. And then on this side here, it's got two ethernet connections. So we're going to take our network cables, which I've put behind me uh, somewhere here. We're going to plug one of these in to our LAN connection. This LAN connection, this is maybe going to plug directly into our router if we've got some spare ports, um, or it might um, plug directly into a switch. Um, I'll just show you this one that we've got here. This is a USW uh, Lite 16. All right, and that is our data input. We then plug this side into the mains. That's our power in. We now have data and power entering into this box. From here, we might then have a cable that can run up to 100 meters in length. All right, and we're gonna plug that here into the PoE port. Plugged into the PoE port here, this is gonna come out to our access point. So I've got an example, I've got an access point um, here. All right, so this is how we're gonna get the power here. What happens is pins four and five, the blue ones in your Cat6, Cat5 cable, or Cat5e cable, carry the power. So this could be up to 100 meters away, this access point, um, and you can have your power over ethernet injected, your power injected into the ethernet um, right the way back where your network switches or maybe your modem or router is. So this is what we refer to when we say it is a PoE injector. If this is in the ubiquity realm, then generally when you buy a single device, like a single AP access point, um, like the one that I've got here, this will come with a power over ethernet injector. That is the minimum that you use to make it work. You can then get PoE based switches. This is an example, this one here, this is a 16 port. It's the usw light 16 poe It's got eight ports of PoE. And what this does, it takes the mains in, and obviously it's already got the data here and it mixes it for you. So you don't need the injector. So if you've got a number of access points, it's great to have a switch like this. You maybe got cameras as well, or you've got VoIP phones, then using a switch is a much better way of doing it um, because you don't have to have lots of these. Imagine you've got eight ports eight devices connected here. You've got to have eight mains outlet sockets and eight of these hanging around at some place. So hopefully that's been useful. When we refer to a PoE injector, it's normally a little box like this. Or if you refer to a PoE switch, it's a specific switch that can do PoE. People also ask, if I've got a PoE switch, can I add, um, add non-PoE devices to it? Yes, you can. It doesn't matter whether it's in a PoE port or a non-PoE port. This device here will only request power if it knows that it needs power. So you can plug a computer into here and this device, this switch won't send power to it because the device never requests the power. So it's pretty safe to do. You can use a switch for multiple devices. They don't have to just be PoE devices. So hopefully that's been useful as a quick overview of what PoE and what a PoE injector looks like.